The next fight is Jelton Almeida taking on Shamil Abdurakimov, and I am going to be going with Jelton Almeida by finish in this matchup here. I don't think he did get to KO, which is what most of Tapology is thinking. I do think he's going to get a submission. But Shamil Abdurakimov, to be fair to his credit, is actually going to be somewhat dangerous in the matchup, believe it or not. Jelton Almeida is very small for heavyweight, as in he weighs in at like 216 pounds in his last one. It was a catch weight at around 220, but Jelton Almeida has weighed in around like 215, 220 pounds for the heavyweight belts he's had in the UFC before, which is interesting because personally, I think that he's actually got a higher ceiling at light heavyweight than he does at heavyweight, but he seems to like fighting at heavyweight. Shamil Durakimov seems to be keen to fight him because this fight's been rebooked a couple of times. I think Jelton Almeida does get it done though. But I don't think he's going to get it done by KO. Maybe he can because Shamil has been KO'd a couple of times. But they were against some pretty good heavyweights. And Sergei Pavlovich, who's just KO'ing everyone right now. KO'ing everyone. Chris Dalkaus, which I guess is a bit near. Yeah, like he's a he's a big middleweight, realistically. But yeah, that, was, that, was, that wasn't really that good of a loss, was it? And he got knocked uh, out by ground and pound with Curtis Blades. But Shamil Durakimov, I think he would definitely be able to maybe defend a couple of Jalton Almeida's takedown attempts because he is quite big and he does have a pretty good wrestling and grappling background himself. But I do think Jalton Almeida's eventually going to overpower him and get a submission or maybe like a ground and pound TKO or maybe a KO on the feet because Shemel's been getting KO'd lately. But I think Jalton Almeida, I think it's maybe a more competitive fight than minus 1,000. I think minus 1,000 in MMA doesn't really make that sense because Shemel, although he's 41 years old, He's still a pretty big heavyweight, and he still does hit pretty hard. And there is always a chance that maybe he can catch Jelton Almeida with something. But I do think Jelton Almeida wins. I think he wins by finish. It really could be by KO or submission, but I think submission's more likely just by the way that Jelton Almeida's ragdolling his opponents. But this is a big heavyweight um, that he's fighting Shamil Derekimov. I know he fought Parker Porter in the past, but this is a step up in competition, even though Shamil is 41 years old. But yeah, give me Jelton, and let's just move on to the next fight.